All right, boys, you ready to get some gold? Yeah! Extract, extract, extract. Look at that. Definitely on the gold. All right, so we've located a spot we want to try for gold, and we think there's going to be lots of gold. So we got a vacuum in that truck. We're going to snatch it up with a whole bunch of buckets. I got Dustin and Glenn here. We're going to go find some gold. You guys ready? Yeah! We need to give him a piggyback no. ride or something. Uh -uh. I was gonna say, I think it goes the other way. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, so we got this quartz granite right here. It's got iron, mineralization, everything. And then it goes straight to a black granite. So I think there's a convergence right here. So we're gonna take a sample right here with a shot vac and see how much gold we can get out of here. Or if there's any. Well, what do you see? <laughs> what are we seeing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're seeing kind of a quartz matrix going through here in a convergence zone. There's uh, two different types of bedrock that are joining together. So right in the middle is the contact zone where, the, where all the gold is, right, Liam? Where all the gold is? Where all the gold is. And, uh, in here, we're seeing all kinds of mineralization, a lot of iron <laughs> oxides coming out of the, the stone there. That's what you want. That's the good stuff. The good stuff. The good stuff. In the bucket. <laughs> I think we'll vacuum this up into this bucket and pan that separate. See, just yeah, to just to see the difference. Yeah. <laughs> this one's loaded with black sand too, so I'm interested to see what it ends so up being in it. Right? It's insane. Yeah. Thomas flow right, right here, two of them, and they both could have gold. Who knows? So, Luca, you see how it breaks apart easily too? Uh -huh. That could uh, trap gold, so we're gonna get it released as well. So. We're gonna pick it a little bit, boys, then collect a sample, vacuum it up, and get that gold. Yep, I've got it. So what we're looking at right here, broke it apart. Now we're gonna see if there's gold in there. Yesterday was. But we went out anyway. That's not bad, man. So you metal detected this right in this valley yesterday. We were here, right yeah. in the wind. It was ugly. It was ugly. Hey, but uh, the surface. I was gonna say. So that's why we're now getting more samples because we want to see if there's more gold pieces like this, this in this valley. Valley's got more to it than you know. Chunky gold. Chunky, chunky gold. We like a chunky. We like a chunky. Like chunky like monkey. Right on the surface. Like right on the surface. Like Easy digging. I like it everywhere. <laughs> talking about gold. Well, there we go. I got super excited because I got my first hit with my Garrett Axiom. It's the first time I ever used it. And I was digging and digging down, and this hit was huge, huge. It was just sounding off. Uh, and then I got disappointed. So we found a nice bullet. Very nice bullet. And it was really far down. Like, Look how far down that was pinging. I mean, it is a big target, but still, this thing's impressive. Loving this Garrett Axiom. Going right through all this mineralization and everything. The boys climbed to the top of the mountain and let us know that the rain and clouds were heading in. It was time to pack up and head back to camp to process our buckets.
so gold. Gold. It's all right here, baby. It's all <laughs> <laughs> We utilize Phil's homemade trommel and sluice system to process the dirt that we had dug from those valleys. Two grams. Two grams. Kevin, how much gold? Two pieces. Two pieces. <laughs> Phil, how much gold? Four pieces. Four pieces. I'm going to say one piece. One. If you over, it was like a 200 foot drop and they wouldn't have been able to recover. Yeah. So, Dustin, would you say vacuuming was worth it? Uh, no. No. Not really. Hey, but at Not least we much. know. At least we know, though, right? That's part of prospecting. You have to know and you have to look right so we know not to go back there <laughs> so the results were disappointing but the information gained help us to narrow down the future pumice flows and gold paying streaks in the area make sure to like the video and subscribe or follow so you don't miss out on our family gold prospecting adventures